All right, more news from here in Washington. The Biden administration and the National Archives are being sued for postponing the release of thousands of the most sensitive documents related to the assassination of President John F. Kennedy. The delay has fueled the government cover-up conspiracy theories about one of the darkest days in our nation's history. Here's CBS's Ed O'Keefe. President Kennedy died at 1 p.m. The mystery behind the assassination of John F. Kennedy in an open motorcade at Dealey Plaza in Dallas stretches almost 60 years. And the new lawsuit alleges President Biden and the National Archives are dragging out the release of about 15,000 documents related to the November 1963 killing. These records need to be made public because they tell us about a very important event in American history. Jefferson Morley is with the organization suing. He's a longtime skeptic of the CIA and says until the documents are released, Americans are left to wonder whether anyone besides accused shooter Lee Harvey Oswald was involved. Is there a bombshell uh, about officers who knew about the accused assassin while JFK was still alive? Well, let's see the records and we can decide. Most of the documents are from the CIA and could reveal other secrets, including Cold War operations carried out by American intelligence agents and a plot to kill Cuban dictator Fidel Castro. It was the 1991 release of the movie JFK by director Oliver Stone. So what really happened that day? That fueled conspiracy theories and prompted a new law ordering the release of the documents by October 2017. But former President Donald Trump pushed off the release to President Biden, who's ordered them to be released by mid-December. In his statement, the CIA says it's still working to declassify the documents and take out any other sensitive material. If the current plan holds, the documents should be released by December 15th. Nora? All right. We'll be waiting and we'll look at them. Ed O'Keefe, thank you.